Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a yoga for runners workout. All right team, we're gonna stretch out the hips and the legs and the upper back and lots of things, anything for runners. All right team, you don't need any equipment, just get your mat and your water bottle and let's get ready to rock. All right, Tim, we're gonna go ahead and start today's practice down on the ground right here in this nice cross leg position. This isn't a comfortable seat for you. Feel free to sit on a chair or in child's pose um, or in a position that's comfortable for you. All right, Tim, we're gonna start with just some simple belly breathing. So I'm gonna go ahead and place one hand on the chest and one hand on the stomach, and I'm gonna breathe in through the nose, blow up the stomach, and exhale through the mouth. All right, so we're gonna slow down the breathing here. Breathe into the stomach so the stomach should get nice and big. Good, slowing down. Feel free to close your eyes here if you want. We'll do two more big breaths like that. And one more. Perfect team. Go ahead and place both the hands on the knees here. We'll come into some shoulder rotations. I'm gonna bring the shoulders down, forward, up, and back and around. Good. Do a nice three, nice and slow circles here. Good, go ahead and switch directions. Bring it back, up, forward, and down. I know my shoulders can get sore from lots of running, lots of that arm swing. Perfect team. We're gonna go ahead and bring the left ear over towards the left shoulder. Nice little neck stretch right here. Option to take the left hand and put it on top of the head. Don't pull, but just kind of use it as a nice gentle weight and breathe into the side of the neck right here. Take three deep breaths. Remember your posture, sit up nice and tall here. Perfect, go ahead and release that hand. Bring the right ear over towards the right shoulder this time. And right hand comes on top, option here. And three deep breaths from here. Good team, big inhale, hold it at the top, and exhale through the mouth. Perfect team. Go ahead and unravel right here, bring the hand back down. Go ahead and make your way onto all fours, roll forward onto those palms, unravel the legs. Good, so we're on all fours, we're gonna go ahead and come into a cat-cow stretch. Make sure the wrist should be right under the shoulders, knees under the hips and feet in alignment with the knees. Don't let them come in like this, but keep your posture in mind here. Good integrity. Good, big arch in the back. Look forward on an inhale. Good. And exhale, belly button to spine. Big curve. Good. Good, inhale forward. You can wiggle it out a little bit. I don't normally hold still, I kinda Wiggle, good. Exhale, <sighs> belly button the spine. Find any little tight spots there. Good, inhale, look forward. And exhale, belly button the spine. <sighs> Perfect, go ahead and find a nice neutral back position here, nice tabletop position. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the knees in a little bit and I'm gonna take the left knee and I'm gonna draw a giant hip circle. So I'm gonna bring the left knee up, opening up the hip, bring it out to the side and around back down, good. Go three big slow circles. Good. And then switch directions. Good. Good. Perfect, go ahead and bring that left knee back down and the right knee's gonna come up this time. Bring it up and around. 
Good, big circle. Good. Good team, go ahead and switch directions. Perfect team. Good, go ahead and bring that knee back down. Go ahead and press into the tops of the feet and bring the knees out wide. If you're practicing on a mat, bring the knees about as wide as the mat. And go ahead and do the same thing with your palms. Bring them nice and wide. Rotate outwards a little bit. Let the fingertips fall off of the mat, all right? So like a nice wide four leg stance here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the right hand planted. I'm gonna take the left arm. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that palm up to the shoulder and twist open right here. And when we're ready, go ahead and bring that left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Good. A few breaths here. Good team, go ahead and take that left arm, bring it back down, loop it under your right, come into a nice thread the needle stretch. Go ahead and press into that right palm to sink deeper into the stretch. Option to also bring the hand, the right palm out nice and long overhead right here. I feel it a little more when I keep it pressed right here. Good. Nice twist in the upper back. Good team, go ahead and press back to center with those hands nice and wide right here. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and bring the right hand up to the right shoulder. Start to open up here. And when you're ready, open up that right hand towards the ceiling. Big twist, wiggle the fingers. Good, go ahead and take that right hand, loop it under the left, big thread the needle stretch right here. Drop that shoulder down towards the ground, use the left hand to twist deeper. Big twist in the upper back here. Good, so big toes touching, knees wide. A big twist in the upper back. Good, go ahead and press up. Back to center right here. Bring the knees back underneath the hips. And from here, team, go ahead and curl those toes under and peel the hips up into this nice, down dog, good. Deep breaths here, pedal out the feet, shake out your fluff. Take turns alternating, pressing those heels down towards the ground. It's okay if you don't even get close, just give it that intention. Melt your heart back towards the tops of your thighs. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the feet to the center as I bring the left foot up nice and high right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in, knee to nose, and then step it through into this nice runner's lunge. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the back knee, uncurl that foot, press into the top of that back foot for stability. Now I'm gonna peel, focus on peeling back this left hip crease and the right hip crease forward. Good team. And when you're ready, I'm gonna go ahead, take this big imaginary beach ball, reach it forward, up and back. Good, bring it down, fingertips back towards the earth. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Big beach ball, forward, up and back. Good, rain it down. Let's go one more time. Big beach ball, forward, up and back. Good, stretch that right hip flexor. Good, and rain it back down. Plant the palms, uncurl those toes back under, Lift up that back knee and go ahead and step it back, back into your down dog right here. A little stretch here. Good team, when you're ready, bring those feet back to the center. Bring the right foot up high this time. Bring it in, knee to nose, and then step it through into your runner's lunge. Good, and go ahead and drop down that back knee, uncurl the toes. Good, peel back that right hip crease, push forward the left one. Good team, when you're ready, we'll take that big beach ball, reach it forward, up and back. 
Good, rain it down. A couple more times. Good. Stretching that hip flexor. Rain it down. Let's go one more. Reach it forward, up, and back. And rain it down. Perfect, plant the palms, curl that back toe back under, step it back into a plank position. Go ahead and walk the hands underneath you, hug the elbows into the side body, and come down flat onto the mat. Now from here, scooch back a little bit. From here, I'm gonna keep the palms right underneath the shoulders. I can come into a little baby cobra right here. Nice little stretch in the back, or if you're feeling like your back is a little more flexible, go ahead and come all the way up into a down dog. Press into the tops of the feet, lift the knees, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Good, when you're ready, go ahead and drop back down. Push the hips back and we'll curl those toes back under, back into that down dog. Good. Good team, shake it off right here. Walk those feet back towards the center. Bring the left foot up high again. Step back into that runner's lunge, bring it up. Good, keep that back knee lifted this time. Go ahead and plant the right palm. Open up the left hand towards the ceiling. Maybe wiggle the fingers. All shape between here and then bring the elbow down towards the mat. Good. Do that a couple more times. Big twist. And exhale, bring the elbow down. One more. Big twist. And bring the elbow back down. Perfect team. Hang out here for a second in this nice little lizard pose. Good. Or if you can't get all the way down, just hold it down as far as you can. And when you're ready, go ahead and plant both palms, come back out of it, step it back. Nice little pedal right here. Good work, team. Perfect. When we're ready, we'll go ahead and slide that right foot up this time. Step it forward, back into our runner's lunge. Keep that back knee elevated. I'm gonna plant the left palm. Go ahead and open up the right one towards the sky. Step your foot out, give yourself a little space. Good, and bring the elbow down to the mat. Good, big twist. And exhale down. One more. Big twist. And elbow down. Perfect team. Kind of hang out here for a bit. This little lizard. Perfect team. Go ahead and plant both palms. Push it up. Step it back into your down dog. This little pedal right here. And when you're ready, we'll walk the hands back towards the toes. I'm gonna to come towards the center here. We're gonna stay in this kind of forward fold. All right, so your choice, feet about hip width or right next to each other, either way. Keep a nice generous bend in the knee. No reason to lock out straight here. Just kind of bend the knees slightly and you can hang out. You can grab the elbows and kind of sway. My latest thing is I like to tuck my fingers under my toes. Good team, we're gonna come into a little flow here. So I'm gonna inhale, bring the palms up to the tops of the thighs, come into this nice flat back position, pull the shoulders away from the ears, extend the crown forward. Good. Good, and exhale to fold back down, let it all loose. Inhale, we're gonna come all the way up, Palms come up, overhead, volcano pose. Good. And exhale, palms come together. We're gonna pizza slice it back down the center. All right, team, so we're gonna flow through that a couple more times, all right? So my forward fold. I'm gonna inhale to flat back. Good, exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, pizza slice it through. Good, let's cycle through that one more time. Okay, inhale to flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, palms together at the heart. Beautiful team.
All right, Tammy, like the little mood light that just turned on. All right, so I'm gonna step forward a little bit here and I'm gonna go ahead and step back with my left foot. All right, I'm gonna keep that foot pointed forward, pressing into the outer edge of that foot. Keep the right knee bent. We're gonna open it up into warrior two. Send the pinkies back. Make sure your pelvis is nice and tucked here. It's really common to accidentally kind of stick the booty out. And if you're kind of feeling a pain in the lower back, that's a nice cue to tuck this under. Make sure your body is nice and core is nice and tight here and body is under you for support. Good. Gaze is over the front fingers. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and drop the left hand towards the back of the left thigh. Flip the right hand over, reach it forward, up, and back. Reverse warrior. Good, stay open here. Be sure not to collapse down forward, but stay open up towards the ceiling or sky or whatever's above you. Go ahead and cartwheel it back forward. We're gonna go ahead and bring the right forearm to the top of the right thigh right here. I'm gonna bring the left hand, reach it behind the ear up and over here, extended side angle. So I should have a nice line between the foot and the tips of the fingers here. And if this is feeling easy, feel free to take this right hand, bring the fingertips down towards the earth or mat or whatever's under you. Nice extension here. Good full body experience. Good team, now from here, go ahead and unravel. Walk that back foot up about halfway, both toes pointed forward right here. I'm gonna go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back, pull the shoulders down, big heart opener. I'm gonna look up towards the ceiling. Good. If this is uncomfortable. You don't have to have your hands totally palm to palm. You can definitely open it up into more of a U shape if our shoulders are a little tight. Good team. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and hinge at the hips, come into a nice flat back position. So keep that nice straight back all the way down to this curve and then come down. Keep that nice flat back as I hinge at the hips. Good team. And maybe we stay here or maybe we venture further still and come down and bring the hands up. Good, a little yin and yang here. Perfect, go ahead and roll back up, nice and controlled here. And then let the fingers go. Good, shake it off. All right, go ahead and step that foot back all the way up. Go ahead and step back with the right foot this time. Come into warrior two, same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and point that foot forward, press into the outer edge of the right foot. Hands come up and gaze is over the front fingers. Warrior two. Good team, from here I'm gonna go ahead and drop the right hand towards the back of the right thigh, flip the left hand over, reach it forward, up and back. Reverse warrior. Good, stay open here. Good. Go ahead and spiral back forward. Bring that left forearm to the top of the left thigh right here. Reach the right hand behind the ear and overhead. Nice long angle, long line of the body. If you're feeling good, go ahead and bring those left fingertips down towards the earth. Good. Perfect team, go ahead and unravel, come back up, walk that back foot up about halfway, point it forward, interlace the fingers, and this time put the opposite thumb on top, so the thumb that feels a little funky. All right team, big heart opener, pull the shoulders away from the ears, look up. Good. Heart opener here, stretch out those shoulders. When we're feeling good, we'll go ahead and keep that nice straight back and keep the shoulders pulled away from the ears into that flat back position, like you're gazing into a pond. Good. Good, maybe we stay here. 
or maybe we venture further into the stretch. Come on down as the palms come up. Good. Good team, nice strong base. Good, go ahead and roll up. Nice and controlled here. Let the hands go. Beautiful, shake it off. All right, team, go ahead and keep both feet together here. Come back into the forward fold, reach on down, plant the palms, step it back into your plank position and lower the knees, beautiful team. Go ahead and walk the hands back a little bit so we're here on all fours. Knees under the hips and feet in alignment with the knees. All right, team, now palms are underneath the shoulders. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the left foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that leg out nice and straight here. Flex the heel, maybe rotate the ankle a few times here. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and bend the knee. I'm gonna reach the right hand forward and around to find that foot. Good. All right, team, now from here, I have the foot. I'm gonna go ahead and push the foot up towards the ceiling. Maybe open up the chest, look forward. Big stretch in the quad here. Let it pull your shoulder back. I love this one. Beautiful team. Go ahead and use that hand to go ahead and bring the knee down nice and controlled and bring that hand back forward. Good. Shake it off. All right, team. Same thing. Other side. Go ahead and stick the left or the right foot out this time. Flex the heel, rotate the ankle a few times, little stretch here. And when we're ready, we'll go ahead and bend that knee. Take the left hand, balance it out, reach it back, find your foot. Good, and when you're ready, go ahead and kick that foot up high. Stretch out the shoulder, get a nice stretch in the quad. Good, open up the chest, look forward. Once we find our balance here, press into the top of that left foot for stability. Good. Beautiful team, go ahead and use that arm to lower the knee back down onto the ground and unravel from there. Beautiful team. All right, team, so from here, let's go ahead and make our way down onto our back. So I'm gonna go ahead and step through here and come lay down onto the backs, nice and comfy here. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and lift the shoulder blades up a little bit, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then lay back down. So now my shoulder blades are kind of snuggled underneath my body for support. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press into my heels here and bring the glutes up nice and high, big squeeze. If you want a little more, I'm gonna go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back, Pull the shoulders down and lift up higher. Good. Should feel good on the back and the hips and a little strength in the booty. Good team. Perfect, go ahead and unleash the fingers and slowly lower back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Beautiful. So go ahead and take the feet out as wide as the mat, if you're on a mat, or just you know outside of hip width, if you're not on a mat, and go ahead and let the knees fall over towards the left side. All right, go ahead and bring the right arm out. If you're like me and you're too close to the wall, push out a little bit, and look over towards your right fingertips. Good, nice relaxing spinal twist. Good. Go ahead and come back to center, release right here. Feels good. And go ahead and drop them over to the right side. And left arm goes out. Look over the left fingertips this time. If you want a little extra, you can also take that right foot and put it on top of the left knee and kind of help it come down towards the ground. Beautiful team, go ahead and unravel. Come back to center here. Go ahead and hug both knees into the chest. Give them a big hug. Rock a little side to side. Good. Nice little 
body weight massage here. You deserve it. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and release, let the legs go out long. Let the feet fall where they may. Don't try and hold them up nice and straight, but just let them fall. Go ahead and let the arms fall as well. So go ahead and unsnuggle those shoulder blades. Let the palms fall, corpse pose. Good team. And if you want, you can stay here and relax for longer. Or if you want to say goodbye to me, you can welcome me in bringing the palms together and up to the third eye. And say, Namaste. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Excellent work today, team. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on the mat. I hope you guys enjoyed this yoga for runners workout. Hopefully you're feeling nice and loose and ready to conquer the day or the next run, or maybe it was a cool down. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button because I have new workouts coming every single week. And if I don't see you guys between now and New Year's, have a happy holidays. Thanks team, and I'll see you guys next time.